Okay, I got this motor down from the shelf that Butch gave me. It's a mini Coda something another power. Let me re let me adjust this thing down some. Dusty old thing. Uh, it is a power max. Power max. 36 pounds. Okay. And actually, I didn't think it was going to work at all. I thought Butch told me it was dead, but I, I twisted the handle a little bit and the propeller started working. That's definitely a good sign. That's reverse. This is forward. And I'm guessing if I turn it further, we go forward faster. And it's doing all of that. So it works in forward, works in reverse. That's really all you can ask one to do. I thought I was about to take this all apart and put it back together, but you know what? It's working. So if it's working, maybe I'll just take it down to the lake, throw it on that little boat, and we'll buzz around with it. I went ahead and picked me up some more uh, flex seal to touch up that inside of that hull with. So I think without further ado, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to run this down to the lake and we'll see what we can make what we can make it do. Okay, okay. Okay, so I'm sure I'm not messing up too much here. I don't know if I can shorten this motor up a little or not. It, it's probably gonna sit way too high up in the air. But I don't know for sure about a second or two or three. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm doing or not, but I'm adjusting this for the angle of the handle and the direction of the handle. And I don't know what all else. You get kind of a crooked screw stuck into it here. Okay, that goes that way. Now I'm going to get that come down some. Put a little oil or grease on that. But I think for today's journey. It'll be all right like that. Let me uh, get the uh, battery over here. Actually, I can leave the battery sitting about where it's at. Put one of these on to that, and the other one on to the ground. Look at us go. Oh, we're 
move one like a bullet. And I've got that really high. You know, I was telling you earlier that, uh, uh oh. She just quit. Oh, there she goes. I think I kicked that. I think I might have kicked that battery, dude. <laughs> Somebody needs to be driving the bus here. Okay. He, had, he may have had this clamped on the side of his boat with that like that. So he wouldn't be having to behind him. That's moving us along, good. I'd love to shorten the handle on this thing down to down here somewhere. I might go back to what he had and put a little side handle on. I'm saying he, I'm talking about Bush. He's the one who gave me this motor. side too. Let's try that. It's uh with it being up that high and behind me it's causing me to twist myself around pretty good pretty good bit to do everything. I believe I can loosen both of these. Let's flip it over. Like this, I could take way over here. This is very shallow in the water. What I mean by that is, I was kind of talking about going up in the trees over there earlier. Let me, uh, let me get my legs and everything untangled, bladed. I'll reach up here and grab y'all. I think it's probably a really good idea not to fall out the boat. Not that it would matter too much. I think it might be pretty shallow right here, but y'all still running? Yeah. So you can see that motor is just barely below the bottom of the boat there. So if I wanted to go up through, if I wanted to go out through the, uh, the trees like this, Even though it's high enough up that you can hear it making bubbles, it's still low enough to move me along. I wonder if it's possible to set this release thing where it would... This ain't bad though, just running this slow speed here. Pretty darn peaceful. Man, I could get into this. I think I might want to kick my shirt off and enjoy the breeze. I don't know if y'all can stand seeing an old fat man with his shirt off, but it might be kind of fun for me to get cooled off. It's like all the fishing lines coming off of my 
fishing rod here too. I don't know how that happened. What happened? Something happened here. Something happened here. It wasn't nothing. It wasn't supposed to happen. Lord have mercy. Just like that, it's fixed. Okay. There's a lot of nice, peaceful uh, opportunities that I can sense coming my way with this little motor. Are y'all still on? Yeah, you are. Okay. I mean, that's about as peaceful as you can have it be. Running along slowly, like carousing the edges. Nothing I like better than going slow and peaceful along the edges. You see it here. It's very doable. Just like this. Curious if I could mount this off to one side. Stick a piece of plywood along on the side here. If I did something like this, it would bite into it. It wouldn't be right on the middle. think that's a good idea but it might be if I did a little refinement I think for right now I'm gonna call that a no-go I like this. This is good. Yeah, this would be good. It would be real good for fishing in amongst these trees and things.
Oh, that's just what I was hoping for. What I'll do with this now is I'll come out here, like I was talking about earlier, and just let it drift me around, and then I'll get ready to come back. I can get that motor and bring me back. Instead of having to paddle up against the wind or something like that, that could be perfect. Yeah. And this is really good for stuff like getting me into places where I can maybe do some videos. Oh, I'll give you a good example. Right. Right there is a tree that looks like it's standing on four legs. Now, I'm going to try to get a little closer. I think what I'm going to do is just push the boat. Oh, it's deep here. Surprising how deep it is considering that I'm right here at the edge, but there's a tree right there. I'm gonna 
get my camera. Can you hear that chant that sound? I don't know if that's a bird or a chipmunk or what, but it's cool. I like that. Let's see if I can back us out of here now. 